Today I'm working on this hand tapping machine. I picked it up from MSC probably five or six years ago. Uh, it works generally pretty good. Um, you have this big frame here with this hand crank. You fit taps up in this little shaft here and then you can turn your shafts to tap a hole. You don't have a chance really of breaking the taps off and uh, you get a lot more drive power because you have this nice big crank on here. Uh, so I like that, but there are some major problems with this machine uh, because it's a cheap Chinese piece of garbage. Uh, one of the problems that happens here is this little ball that just fell out right here. It goes in the hole on this shaft with this little lock ring. And what that is supposed to do is actually engage in this little divot on these flats on these drive slug call it things and actually retain it in there. Obviously you saw that the ball fell out that's a big problem because uh, you lose it and you're screwed because you don't have it. I've, I've ran around my shop with a magnet many times trying to find that and then it, even when it's in there and you lock it it doesn't always hold the collets in and they just they fall out. You finish tapping a hole, you pull this thing out, you lift it up to get your part out of there, and there, you go. there goes your tap on the floor, you chip a flute, and then you're, then you're mad. So that's no good. The collets themselves, uh, the bores are really poorly sized. This one is a 5 16 tap, that is a 5 16 collet, that's how it's labeled. It, it's, it's just really, really sloppy. And they have a, a screw on here that's intended to hold your tap in place so it doesn't drop out. What that screw does is then push the tap off to the side. So when you tap your hole, now you got this crooked thing going on. I think this vise, the reason it moves around freely is they're trying to accommodate for that poor, you know, design thing, but I, I just, I feel like I'm going to be trying to tap my hole crooked or I'm going to bust a tap doing that. I don't really like that. What was the other thing? Oh yeah, the these little drive collets have a square in the back that that tap is going to fit into, but it's really, really sloppy fit. And on some of them, the tap doesn't even engage. It, the square is just too big and it doesn't work. All right. So, the solution that I have is I have this ER32 collet chuck that I got several years ago when I got my uh, Tormach milling machine. I don't really use this uh, ER32 in it anymore. Uh, most of the stuff I use uh, are, is either the one inch cutter that comes with the machine or a lot of 3 8 and half inch end mills. I don't, I don't really have to put anything in this. So, I'm going to sacrifice this. Because it's also the cheapest ER32 collet chuck I can find. Uh, if you start looking at MSC, you know, you're looking at $100, $200 to get like an R8 taper, or Morse taper, or something like that. This Tormach collet system, this is 40 bucks for this collet chuck. So since I'm probably going to have to cut it up and make changes to it, I thought that was a, a pretty good, effective deal. So let's uh, take this thing apart, do some measuring, and see what's going to work. What I'm thinking right offhand is maybe I'll thread the outside of this, cut the shank off and thread the inside of here so it just threads on, and then pin it so it doesn't have to move. Uh, but I don't know. We're going to take this apart and see. So this handle just pulls right out of there, which is kind of nice. We'll get that out of the way for now. Okay, so that is a, almost a one inch OD. The ID, three quarter, just like two thou over three quarter. I think these shanks are three quarter on the Tormach tools. Yeah, that's, that's exactly three quarter. That might actually fit in there. Let's try that. Oh, well, that fits real good. Hardly any slop. Okay, so the drive dogs are in there. How far down are they? They're 900 thousandths. So yeah, we have enough room if we mill something off, it can catch the drive dogs. I think there's another shoulder in there. That's 
about an inch and five eighths, which is longer than the Tormach tool, which is only an inch and a half. Excellent. So we should be able to, I think I'm just going to mill flats on the side of this. Let's see what those need to look like. Get one of these collets here. Um, that's 450. What's this hole here? That's 350. Interesting. So, it'd be 50 thou on the side, which is probably about what that thing is there. Yeah, yeah, 30 thou. You can see that I got this tap in there. I put tape on the end of the taps and then tap and then just very gently tap them in there with a hammer and a, and a punch driving on that center in the tap. That's how I hold them in instead of using the screws and then they're straight. Again, you know, that's that's stupid. We shouldn't have to do that. So I think I'm just gonna mill this up to have flats just like this. We should be able to drop it in there. We'll uh, get rid of that ring and that ball, put this together, drill it, there goes the ball, and pin it probably, roll pin if I have one, or just, just a small bolt if that's all I can find right now. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do. That's going to make this a lot better tool than it was before. So I'll set up to, to mill some flats on this thing and I'll bring it back.